we're doing a training run and it's a marathon distance John loves this area this fell straight in that this is it's unwalkable never mind unrunnable you have a sense of purpose you're going somewhere this was rank one of the worst experiences ever So it's been a couple of weeks since we did an update on how our training for the Manchester Marathon 2024 is going. So yes, in general, it's been going pretty well. We've nailed a few 60 mile weeks, long runs. Yep, solid but unspectacular marathon training, which is what you really want. Rolling out those weeks, that seven out of tens, eight out of tens. So one thing I wanted to do during this marathon training block is to get the confidence to be able to know I can complete a marathon. If you follow the channel for a while, you'll remember I DNF'd a Yorkshire marathon back in October. So when I saw there was a marathon taking place in the middle of February, at the beginning of our half term, on the Marriott's Way in Norfolk, where we are running now, I thought, fantastic. Look at this. Nice solid trail surface, nice 26 mile route along this lovely former railway line, now trail. However, you may have heard the saying, failing to prepare is preparing to fail. Yes, there's been a lot of heavy rain in Norfolk over the past week and a big downpour the night before this race. So it turned out this trail wasn't as we thought. So I've run parts of this trail went on holiday in Norfolk in the past and it's all been pretty runnable and the day before the race we came out here to Ailsham where it finishes and found this bit of trail and thought this is good nice and runnable however as you used to say on a question of sport what happened next well sit back relax and enjoy our experience of running the Marriott's Way Marathon 2024 today you find us on the Marriott's Way from Norwich to Ailsham and what are we doing today John? Running on the Marriott's Way from Norwich to Ailsham. <laughs> yes but what are we doing? Why are we running from Norwich to Ailsham? Because our car's in Ailsham. <laughs> so <laughs> the reason is we're doing a training run and it's a marathon distance so John loves this area. We saw this was on and we thought wow well, should we do a long run? So our day began in a rainy Ailsham, waiting for the bus to take us to the headquarters of the race in Norwich. So unfortunately the bus was half an hour late, which meant our race preparations were curtailed and we were quickly walked to the start line in Norwich. So the Marriott's Way Marathon and we are walking to the start. So there were two race distances on offer, the half marathon and the full marathon. We chose the full marathon, which had an entry limit of up to 100 runners. We assembled in Andersons Field, Norwich, ready for a 9 a.m. start. Four, three, two, one, have a good ride! <laughs> and we're off on the Marriott Way Marathon! Heading to Ailsham, which is that way. So in order to make it the full marathon distance, we started with a short section out on this lovely stretch of tarmac over the river and then doubling back on ourselves. Trainer choice of Adizero Pro 2 and Pro 3 on point at this section of the Marriott's Way. So the Marriott's Way follows a track bed of two old railway lines, the Midland and Great Northern Railway and the Great Eastern Railway which linked Norwich with the town of Ailsham. So these lines had a short history, opened in the 1880s and 90s and being closed in the 1960s. So the first few miles took us through the suburbs of the city of Norwich, but it wasn't long before we were out in the lovely countryside of Norfolk. 
So happy days at present with all this railway history around me and with this lovely tarmac and compact gravel trail. All good underfoot. So another attraction for me of this race, or this run, is it's point to point. You have a sense of purpose. You're going somewhere. You're moving in a line from place to place, like people have done in this country and around the world for millennia. There's a destination, an end point. So when you think about it, most races, you start at point A, you go all the way around, and you finish at point A again, or close to it. So we're thinking of point-to-point -point races we've done on the way here. London Marathon, Brampton to Carlisle, 10 mile road race, I think the oldest one in the country, and of course, the Great North Run. Oh, White Peak Marathon. White Peak Marathon, same idea. So can you think of any other point-to-point -point races that you've done? And if you're wondering why it's called the Marriott's Way, it's named after a man called William Marriott, who was the chief engineer of the Midland and Great Northern Railway for around 40 years. So the first few miles passed nice and easily. The pace was round about nine minute mile in. We were really enjoying running through the Norfolk countryside. But, oh dear, what do we have here? We have a lot of mud. It had rained really heavily in the week preceding the marathon and it had turned a hard compact trail into a mud fest. So the race organiser said it had been bone dry the week before and our choice of shoes would have been on point had it been last week. Unfortunately, it wasn't. That might have seen this. Council needs to get some tarmac down, I think. We got over that bit of mud and we were back onto firm trails. We were hoping that the rest of the terrain was going to be as we were on at this point. So we weren't completely clueless, having run sections of the Marriott's Way when we'd visited Norfolk last summer and the summer before. So we're hoping that the trail would be as we expected it. And it was going okay, but oh dear, what do we have here? So on the downside, I'm finding this sort of terrain incredibly physically and mentally sapping it's not my thing at all on the plus side just been to the eight mile checkpoint and i had a free jaffa cake so as you can see we had bits that were reasonably runnable and then we would come across bits where the mud was really quite deep and i was slipping sideways and backwards and forwards and every which way in my lovely road racing shoes that i put on so I too was now beginning to question the choice of shoes. So we've been through some really muddy sections. The shoes, could say it was the wrong choice for the mud. The Adidas Pro 2s are not good on a slimy muddy surface. Hey ho. Then my spirits would be raised again by a nice bit of trail like this. An old railway station was passed at Attlebridge and it was a welcome little bit of tarmac here of about 100 meters, overjoyed at this point. We then rejoined the Marriott's Way trail and we went up to the halfway point coming up at Whitwell station. As you can see, nice surface on this bridge, but then, oh dear, back to this. So Whitwell Station is a lovely heritage attraction. We went back two days later after the race and hey ho, guess what? The trail's nice and dry now. If you are in the area, it is well worth a visit to see the steam trains in action and all the railway heritage that there is on offer. Oh. So I've just gone through 20 miles and you may notice that we are walking. So the story of the last 13 miles, it was more and more of this, less and less of compact surface and basically my legs just aren't conditioned to run on this sort of thing. I was fatiguing really really badly, slipping leftwards, rightwards, forwards, backwards. <laughs> to be fair it was really 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 bad for about 10 miles. Hey, 
really set off like I must admit I had a bit of a moment about 17 miles didn't I yeah you know those of you who watched the channel for a while remember me DNFing the um, Yorkshire Marathon and I thought another DNF was on the cards here but We set up at a pace we thought was relatively easy, about between 8.40 and 9 minute miling. Yeah. On a proper surface, but for me, yeah. there is no running easy on this. The road was full of mud. Energy's okay. Energy's fine. Yeah. You know, if I'd been, this had been on a decent surface, mm. not a problem. Keep trying to run on this, but it keeps slipping and falling all over the place. Just unrunnable. Oh man. I've been running for many years and I've got to say, this was rank one of the worst experiences ever. So I think it's fair to say the nadir of this particular run came at about 25 miles where I went face first into the puddle. You can just see me emerging from the camera splattered with mud. I think all I can think of is to paraphrase William of Normandy at this point. I now have Norfolk in my hands. It's now coming up to 25 miles. This fell straight in that. This is... It's unwalkable, never mind unrunnable. So I've always felt very close to the county of Norfolk. I feel even closer to it now. Sense of humour failure now. <clears throat> As you can see, it's uh, not very easy to walk on, never mind run on. <clears throat> Forward is the pace. That's the one. Forward is the pace. And I think I'm moving forward just about. I might be moving sideways a little bit too. <clears throat> oh. So mercifully, eventually, we left the Marriott's Way, finished at the Aylesham Town Hall, and the finish line was actually inside the building, and we were left to reflect in five hours and nine minutes of the most interesting running experience. So, a tough day at the office. Not just a tough day at the office, but a sort of day at the office where all the computers are down, you've got a deadline to meet, and you keep tripping over the carpet. Have any of you, when training for a marathon, run the marathon distance in training? It's a tried and tested method advocated by many runners and coaches. Let us know in the comments below and how you got on and what effect you think it had on your training. So John, seeing as you had a bad day in the office, let's see what positives you can actually take from that run yesterday. Well, number one, I finished it five hours and 10 minutes, something around there, but there was no way I wasn't going to finish this event. So number two, I would say, is the fueling strategy worked. Despite being on our feet for over five hours, neither of us had a problem with the fueling and the energy that we were using. Number three, apart from the shoes, the clothing was fine. The underwear worked well for me, no chafing. Putting Vaseline on my feet beforehand, eliminated blisters. So that was a third plus. So psychologically I had some pretty dark moments during that run, it wasn't what I expected at all and I'm the sort of person who likes what I expect to happen to actually happen. Yes, yeah, so looking back it really was quite a lovely course, however it was a shame that we had to come across so much mud. We had a good day really, there was parts of the course that we really enjoyed. So yes, it's a shame that this was the last iteration of this particular race and we won't be able to come back and perhaps do it again in more favourable conditions. But yeah, a great day out and one that will certainly live long in the memory. So we hope you've enjoyed joining us on the Marriott's Way Trail Marathon. If you have, please give this video a like and if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and continue following us on our marathon journeys. So until next time, keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on.